In this week's lesson, we're really keying in on inversions. As a visual aid here, I have, have some enlarged playing cards here, and I think it's kind of helpful to visualize what it is that we're trying to play. This helps, gets us away from just thinking about grips on the guitar and thinking more about what the notes are. If you know what the notes are, then you can alter them in musical ways that might help you to get through to a very strong musical idea that you wouldn't have found otherwise. To me, the, the root is like the ace, the third is like the three, and the five is the fifth of the chord, and that's what we're talking about, say, with the C major triad. Now, you can have these in, in inversions, and when we're talking about inversions, again, I'm going to show this to you on the neck, when I'm keeping track of the top note or the bottom note, you invert a chord by taking the top note and moving it down, or taking the bottom note and moving it up. I'm going to be talking about taking a C major triad in root position. There's root three, five there. And I'm going to take the root and move it to the top of the chord. The third and move that to the top of the chord. And the fifth, moving that to the top of the chord. This is like ace three five. This is C E G. Now I'm going to take the root and move it to the top of the chord. And that leaves three and five. It'll be right here. So this is three five root. The next inversion would be five three one. So we have root three five, three five one. Five one three. This, of course, works for minor as well, or any of the triad qualities. There are some etudes here that are written out. Let me demonstrate uh, the concept where I'm, I'm going not through the full uh, circle of force, but um, four keys to get a good start on it. I do it in C, F, B flat, and E flat. This is a typical way that I practice working on chords of any quality. I think of the lowest place that I can play the chord without any open strings, and then take it to the highest place. Right now, I'm just gonna do all the inversions of the triads for the key of C. F, the lowest place that that goes with no strings is the one with the third in the bass. In the key of B flat, the lowest place that one will go is a root position B flat. And then E flat, the lowest place that will go is on the third fret. So again, C, that's the first chord, and then F with the third in the bass. B flat with the root in the bass, similar to the C that we started with. E flat, this is one that has the fifth in the bass. Let's have the metronome and I'll bring it in. Three, four. Fifth in the bass, third in the bass, root. F major, first inversion. Second inversion, root. B flat with root, third. E flat with the fifth, root, third, root. So that's the way the first etude goes. The second one is similar in that we're doing the key of G, D, A here, and E here. To play the game correctly, you find the lowest place that the chord works without any open strings. The three, four, G in root position with third in the bass, fifth, third, root. Now D. 
with the fifth in the bass, now the root. A here. E up here. With the fifth in the bass now, with the root. And then resolving it to C. So being able to invert the chords up the fretboard, thinking about from low to high, from the first fret to the 12th fret, that's going up the fretboard as opposed to across the fretboard. Different teachers around the world see it in different ways, but I think we're pretty consistent at Berkeley with making this up and this across. Practice the triads up the fretboard to have a way to ascend the neck in a musical way. 